What's up, YouTube? I'm Overthrow. I'm a guitarist, producer, and artist. Today, we're going to be making a Brackens type beat. Let's go. I've made this video three times already, and every single time I've made this, something has gone wrong. The audio wasn't working, or the video wasn't working, or just something. So basically, what I'm telling you is I have all of the elements to this beat already made, but I'm going to go through exactly how I made it, the techniques I used to make it sound good, so that way you can make a beat like this for yourself. All right, so first things first, I played this guitar loop yesterday, really simple. If you're looking for guitar loops like this, I have a bunch in my description. I have a bunch of kits online. Feel free to check those out. I have a couple free ones too. And yeah, okay, so first things first, what I did with the guitar is I put a compressor on it just to flatten it out a bit. Nothing fancy. And then to mess with it a bit, I put on this Glitch 2 plugin. So this plugin here is like $20, I believe. That's what I got it for. And it has all these different effects that you can basically choose when they when they go on and when they go off. So here I have like a tape stop hitting like a tiny little bit every now and then. So it sounds like it's coming from a tape machine. And then a reverser effect. I don't really know how the reverser effect works. Like, it sounds like it just reverses it, but it does like a whole bunch of other shit. So I just played with it until it worked. So it like, repeats it a whole bunch of times, I guess. But it sounds good. It sounds good. I'm not going to play with that anymore because I like the way it sounds. Next, I have my, I'm going to pull up my drums. So I have them all hidden right now. I have the kick, stick, reverse snare, and hi-hats. Let's just pull these up. I'm going to leave most of them muted. So... What I did first was I had a stick playing. It's called the Travis Barker Stick 2 on Splice. Originally, it sounds like this, but I put a flanger on it. You can see my flanger settings here just to make it sound like sound glitchy because that's what the beats kind of sound like. And then a really basic kick. I drove it though, so that way I could get like some clipping with it. I lowered it for your ears because I, I remember that being heavy when I was listening to the audio before. And then this is a really sick trick that I'm about to show you. This is called the reverse reverb. So basically it gives you this drag before the snare actually hits. And that adds like a lot of texture that whoosh. So how to do that, you go to your stick, the one you had up before, put just like one stick there, and then, you, then you're gonna bounce it as an audio file. So now you have this audio file here. You're gonna reverse this audio file and then you're gonna put reverb on it. So you go to whatever reverb you want, honestly, as long as it has a long tail, like a couple of seconds, you should be fine. And then you're gonna bounce it with the audio tail in the file. So that way you have this big, big reverb tail. Then using command, I'm gonna select the length of the first stick and the length of the first stick, but in the second audio file so that way the dry signal isn't coming through and then you're going to reverse that new audio file that you just made and then bring it over here and have it just so that way it ends when the second when the snare is hitting so i'm going to drag it just past the snare a bit and then select this using command and then hit the letter t then hit a so you go to your fade tool and bring out a fade and then you'll come out with this so this is, the, this is the one I just made. You can do this, it's really easy. Once you learn this technique, it adds so many cool textures to your beats. And then with everything playing, that sounds sick. So I'm gonna use the original one because I, I just have it all mapped out and everything. Sounds more or less the exact same. After that, I put on some basic hi-hats. So just hitting on the four, as you can see the pattern. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the ones, I, I duplicated this exact same hi-hat and put a roll there. So it just goes at the beginning and then there's like a high one hitting. To add some more texture to the drum beats, I, I grabbed this sample from Splice as well. It's just a drum sample, a drum loop called Holy Child Hi-Hat Groove 98, 98. And then I just mapped it out and chopped it a bit and played it on my keys. So it sounds like this. And it sounds really sick behind the drums. 
Very subtle, but it works out a lot. So now everything's starting to come together. It's like, it's becoming a pretty coherent beat here. Um, I start, and then after that, you need an 808. You gotta have an 808. So I put an 808 there and just follow the root notes. I use this plugin called True Iron to saturate it. This is also like $40 or something. It's a great, it's a great saturation plugin. So this is what the 808 sounded like before. It's just like, it's already pretty distorted, but I wanted to add some more power to it. So after turning this back on, It really hits. And yeah, it's just on the root notes. I'm not doing anything fancy with the 808s. Take a good look here. Um, so now we have this beat. I added two extra other things. So the first thing I added was a guitar, like a guitar reverse reverb. Exactly what I did to the snare here. So exactly this just applied to one guitar note that's going like, nah. Yeah, so. And then I transposed it. So like I changed the pitch of the second one hitting. So it goes down like. <laughs> to get that. To get it like to slow down like that. Uh, for logic, at least you click the letter T and then the letter A. So you're bringing up the fade tool again. And then you want to right click on that and click slow down instead of fade. And it slows it down like that. So that's how I achieved that effect at the end. Um, and then, yeah, so coming together, that sounds sick too, because it's like this reverse reverb is playing here and then the second one is playing right after it. So it's like a cool effect. After that, I just put a really simple pad. I went on Serum, I went to the initial preset, like the basic one, and then put the unison to nine to make it like, like this is what it sounded like normally. It's just like like just a synth. Then you bring it to nine and then detune it a little bit. And then you get like that fat sound. So after that, I put on Decimort to give it like the tape effect. And then put a flanger on it so that I can mod it a little bit more. And it just has, it, it doesn't sound great on its own, honestly, but it sounds really cool in like the context of this beat. All right, so now we got to arrange it. So arrangement would be pretty simple with this. Oh, I don't have my regular tool. T and then T to go back to your regular mouse. So I would just bring up the regular guitar here and then just have like the drum groove and the stick playing. And then I would bring in the hi-hats and the kick, nothing else, or the hi-hats kick and the sweep. Maybe remove the kick for a little bit. Um, so this would be the intro. This would be like a 16 bar reverse. And then I'll I would drop off the drums here actually. And turn it into a chorus. And then just duplicate that twice. Don't overthink it. It's just uh, it's just beat arrangement. As long as you have the beat there, it'll be great. I don't overthink the arrangement too much. I kind of just leave it like the way it is. Um, and then Control Shift M, Command Shift M on Mac for Logic to bring up the master track of the beat. And then I would just fade it out here, honestly. I don't normally fade out my outros, but it just sounds like it'd be right for this beat. I don't know why it just feels like it. Okay, so now that that was done, what I did was I actually recorded to the beat. So I have my own verse on here and I think I might release it myself. I'll put it on my beat store too, but um, I have my own verse for it and I'm going to show it to you because I thought it was pretty dope. So you can see like what this beat's potential can go to. Surely you're too far, too far to call my name. I just ain't the same with you around my bed. Your sky's in the pain. You're too distracting. So what I made a mistake. I'll learn from it someday. So that's the beat in action with my voice going on top of it. 
I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this tutorial. Um, like I said, I have my guitar loops in the description below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm really trying to grow on here on YouTube and provide as much value as I can, especially with like, maybe I'll drop some free guitar loops with some of the videos that I do and stuff like that. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you the next video. Peace.